Captain's Log, number four. Um, I went to do this business. When you get the sticky notes on the wall, you know you mean business. Um, so I noticed that I put a bunch of YouTube videos up, but I unlisted them. Like I uploaded these logs, but didn't listen. Why did I do that? Um, why not just post it? Why have I waited so long to even make a YouTube video? Or why have I started and then stopped? And then, why was it so important for me to have voice lessons and understand the power of my voice if I'm not going to speak? And maybe the things I need to speak about that maybe are not important to the rest of the world because it's not like news, um, but maybe it's something better than that. Maybe I have some good news that people need to share and understand, okay? So I'm throwing this down. Um, <clears throat> but that was the, that was like some of the questions. This is my question, this is the challenge. What's going on here? Why are we not doing this? And then I went to the problems, the challenges, and the obstacles. This is a uh, exercise uh, by Ray Dalio in his book Principles. And I don't know all of who he is. I tried to read the book Principles. I didn't finish it yet. He's a rich guy. And not that rich guys have all the wisdom in the world, but like they're doing something right. So there's that. And then my coach um, has a lot of this in pretty much any quarterly practice, any goal setting practice. He's like, what's been getting in the way? Why is it still in the way? What are you gonna do about it? That kind of thing. Okay, so problems I define as things that I run into again and again, like patterns that I need to take responsibility for. Um, and yeah, that's it. And then challenges are excuses or things that just make it feel hard. Like it's not impossible, it's just kind of hard. It's the things you don't wanna do, but you know that you should do. And that's that. And then obstacles is, you can't read, I mean, not that you're actually reading this. Good God, if your eyesight is that good, I need LASIK. Um, so uh, the obstacles is the things in the environment that are actually like true blue obstacles. You know, like that, the wall is a wall. So you gotta climb over it. Um, <clears throat> But we're not actually talking about walls um, because I, uh, that's a different political context and that's not really what my challenge is at this moment in time. Um, my walls are invisible and um, not unreal. Maybe they're real, maybe they're not real. We don't know, they're invisible. How do we test them? I don't know, shoving yourself against them. <clears throat> okay, whew, so. Cool thing, I did this back in January. I'm delaying because I don't want to tell you what's on this wall just yet. Um, I did this back in January and I did this with some, I did this with like my singing voice and I put down like every time someone said something about my singing voice, like you could change, keys three times, but then didn't tell me how to correct it. Or like, just made one of these faces, Ugh. you know? Like, oh, that hurts me. Um, or, you know, someone saying you're trying too hard. Like, things that were like, trying to be constructive, but weren't really, Think times I, I remember, I chickened out, I like, asked for a solo in the kids' Christmas production. No, it was, it was like spring production. I asked, I want this part because I want to sing this like long held out note. And I went, I counted to three and I turned around and I walked away. And ooh, if that's not a metaphor for my life. Um, and like, who knows? Maybe if I had sung that note, I would have been like the kid that can sing, you know, and then would have had ensemble and solos like for the rest of my life. Who knows? But I didn't do it. So we don't know. 
So, I did all of that in January. And then I had to take a walk and I started talking to myself. And that's where the work really actually happened. Um, it's when you actually talk to yourself in the mirror after getting this kind of clarity. Um, because all this is in your head. All this is just in your head, right? And then you put it up on the wall and you organize it and you kind of push it away and you say, okay, is that real? I don't know. It was, it was enough. Like my email inbox is a part of the problem because there's so much junk in there and I need to organize it. Or comparison, comparison traps, comparing myself saying, they're too good to hear what I have to say or I'm too good to tell them. Um, or maybe I'm like a jackrabbit and I'm shifting and going this way and then that way and then this way and then that way instead of like slow and steady and wins the race. I think that somewhere along the way that tortoise found a catapult. Um, and he just kind of, he just said, oh, okay, here we go. And then, Poo! Because that's the way compound interest works. That's the way exponential growth works. Um, check me. Read compound interest. Or the compound effect, sorry. Um, oh, here's a, here's a big one. Low self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence equals I'm not going to invest in what I need to do. Um, pretending to do the work. Um... Trying to control someone else's reaction. How many times have you been prepping the conversation in your head and they're not even there in that conversation? Like they're not, not only not physically there, but they're not, when you actually have the conversation with them, they're like, that's not what I was thinking at all. And you were so like, or like you're trying to, mm, um, you don't want to let somebody down. You don't want to, oh, you don't want to upset someone. So you just kind of like keep doing this. And then they wonder why you're dancing when they just want you to know. They're like, are you showing up or not? RSVP. Okay. Um, <clears throat> challenges. Um, I think framing the context. I went to the museum, saw this painting, looked at the frame. I was like, oh, this frame is so beautiful and I wonder how much and like even not just the frame but also the little blurb beside it that says like this is important because um something about the author or the the painter or the artist and the fact that it's in a museum is a frame did you see that that's so much sweat on me I'm so nervous guys this is warm it's kind of like um or the fact that like you know you go to the Louvre, or the Louvre, the Louvre, the Louvre, the Louvre is the bathroom. Wherever the Mona Lisa is, like we have this context, the Mona Lisa is where you should go, like you should, you gotta see the Mona Lisa. Even, like, why? Well, because it was a stolen painting. Why did they steal that painting? I don't know, because they could fit it under a shirt. But then we're like, ooh. So, anyway. How you frame things, how you frame the story, how you frame the context, how you frame the fact that like, why is it important for me to share with you the problems, challenges, and obstacles of what I'm doing? One is because I want to prove that I'm doing work. Or am I pretending to do the work? <gasps> we don't know yet. Okay. Um, do I look crazy? Like, is this like... Should I, if I had bits of string going around, like, would you be scared? Okay. I had people watch me do this today, actually. Um, so they weren't scared. They were like, go you, get this organized, get your shit together, get your stuff together. Um, kids are watching. Kids, kids that have never heard a curse word before are watching this. Um, leveraging momentum, right? Like how do you actually um, 
when you're like, you know, when you're like moving the needle forward or like people are moving, people get on a TV show and then like all of a sudden they have merch out, you know? How do you know how to leverage that momentum? Apparently there's months that go in pre-production, post-production, da, da 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 But like, how are you prepared to take off when you take off? And, and not just that, but like, how are you stacking your habits? How are you using the leverage and the patterns that you already have to move the needle forward, right? drinking a glass of water after you brush your teeth in the morning. And then after you're doing that for five days, you're like, okay, and then I do three minutes of stretching while my coffee gets made. 